Hi guys, I've decided to open up my little box, where my little treasure box, uh, where I keep all my gemstones for the jewelry that I make. So I thought it would be interesting for you to look through some of them, so that you can decide on whether you like, you know, some of them, and maybe you could ask me to make you a piece of jewelry out of that. First of all, I would like to show you the agate that uh, I have. It's um, it's actually quite beautiful and the camera doesn't show the real really tender almost cornflower blue um, color of it it's, it's fabulously it's faceted and um, shines really well with it in the sunshine as you can see so the other uh, i've got loads of stones of course but some of them are kind of worth um pointing out this new type of stone that i started buying is the peridot uh, green gemstone which is quite good I mean, usually it's it's very mm, transparent and clear but this one for some reason decided to be really cloudy but it's actually quite nice it's actually quite springy this one I think it's a green agate and it's only maybe six millimeter diameter beads the other things I've got loads of them of course different types of agates and uh, carnelians and this and that but it just depends on what you like and maybe you can find some things that you really really like among these see most of them are picture jaspers like this one for example and you know depending on the way you look at it it will be it will be a picture of different sorts there's a carnelian over here different sides so if if you fancy any of these stones and if you would like a piece of jewelry with <clears throat> one of them, you can let me know and I'll, I'll tell you whether what I can do with that. So basically this one is a jasper, it's a picture jasper. The, there's some more beads there which could become a necklace of some sort and it looks just like that. Uh, basically it's a little necklace like that. These are the pearl captions attached. So another thing is this one is a leopard jasper, which I like quite a lot. A lot of Russian ladies like that too, because they like leopard prints and then some brown gemstone. Uh, the tiger eye gemstone, I've got quite a bit of that. Hold on, okay. this is the the type of one I have. Uh, this jasper. Can make you proper beads with that with, with a combination of other gemstones i would like to maybe combine it with something else uh, corals corals of some sort brown very usual boring jasper but still some of them are quite nice uh, the bits of orange jasper no oh, orange coral sorry uh, the next thing is these are jasper i like jasper because it's really really different um this one is just really weird, unusual and kind of cloudy blue, creamy coffee thingy. <laughs> um, and these are the jaspers that I really like because they're, again, they're picture jaspers and they are quite um, contrastive and picturesque in a good way. A good way. And carnelian is attached to something, so it will be attached again that way. It's um, next thing is, these are some sort of a gate, so I don't really remember, I'm so, they kind of look funny. Uh, these are um, really cool, again blue jasper, really dark juicy blue, royal blue. And this stone looks like a turquoise, but it's not, so it could be put that way or that way, in a pendant like that, so that's quite nice too. And uh, this one, this stone, I quite like, and it's, um, I'm going to just show it to you in the, like that, see, it's a uh, dark, it's dark red and purple sort of thing, like blood red and purple, really beautiful triangle, cabochon, cabochon is a bead without a hole, uh, that's jasper. I think it was 
bought from America somewhere they, they tend to have these kind of very interesting Sahara desert landscape type of jaspers. Mm. I, like, um, I like this one too, I just start, I've started making something with it and then stopped. And the next thing is my favorite ones. Um, the next ones are the um, stones called Labradorite. Labradorite. And that's the that's the way it looks. Depending on the way the light falls on it, the light will be like that. So. There are several of them, of course, so different shapes, different sizes, different lights. Some of them are bluish, some of them shine more, some of them shine less. So that's right. And then this one is um, this one is um, purple agate. It's probably purple. It's a bead, so I can make a pendant of it. That's an unusual stone. I have no idea what it's called, but it's that's the way it is. I've got some stone which looks like like honey with sugar, so it it actually does look very funny in a good way. So it's nice calcite. It is this one. It's a big bead. Well, it's not. It's a cabochon. It's a pale apricot color. So you can maybe see something like that. So, and then the next thing is there's some bits of amber over there which everybody knows. And these are, see the stones were attached to a base at some point. And these are the type of stones that are like, this is the jasper I like. Right, so calcite again over there. Goes well even with um, cream leather. And then I also like this type of a gate. It's kind of nice and beautiful. And then loads of blue jasper beads. That sort of thing. Um, amethyst. Amethyst ones. Really pink. The shape of a leaf. Little pendant I could make. Ruby of a lower grade than the one that they put into into gold, and then a little oh, a little a gate. That's a gate that is sort of bluishly greenish, right in between. So that's really cool. A lovely stone. That's another one. It's a gate which is half transparent. I think there's two of them. This one is a gate too. So it has a funny, funny little ornament inside. Not not an ornament inside. It's just a picture of the. Thing. I've got loads of little, um, little and big uh, shells or something that mother of pearl things, pendants and beads and everything. So if you like it, you can watch my next video. I really like these kind of green ones, I've got several of them, so you can maybe enjoy wearing jewelry like that. So, I'll just show you all, all of this again. Sorry for the shaking camera. And then maybe you could make a decision on what kind of stones you like. Alright, I hope you enjoyed my little video and thank you very much for watching it. Bye!